On the last one, we made it to Prim after having a good old knockdown drag out fight at Good Springs. Now we're going to start off by talking to the various NCR folks around here to figure out what's going on and uh, find out maybe if there's anything we can do to help out over here. We'll start with this dude over here. How you doing? Hello. I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. If you want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. Where are you from? I'm from Hub originally, but it's been a long time since I saw it. I'm on my second tour here. Most non-commissioned officers are. All right, so let's find Lieutenant Hayes. We have discovered the NCR camp, which means we're where we want to be at this point of the game. And I'm good with this. Let's go, uh, let's go talk to Lieutenant Hayes. Not this one, okay. So there's a bunch of stuff that we could swipe in here, though. Look at that. We can steal some ammo, some armor, some scrap electronics. Some of those things would actually be helpful for a very specific reason we'll find shortly. Hello. Where is Lieutenant Hayes? If only we could find him. Man, it's a real uphill fight these days. I'm not sure how we're going to handle all these convicts. Okay, I actually wasn't trying to talk to you, but... Cool. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? What are you doing out here? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. So what's the problem with your mission? The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. The convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but... Shit. Things are just going slow. So tell me about the correctional facility. Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup. Killed the guards that weren't able to escape. And have been ransacking the area since then. Do you have any information on the convicts? Not much. They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers. Mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. They got organized faster than I would have thought, most of them at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seemed to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. I have some... F uh, what's the new California Republic? Where do you come from that you haven't heard of the NCR? Never mind, it doesn't matter much. If you haven't heard of us, you must not be from the Legion. Put simply... The NCR is the greatest nation currently functioning. Mm, what's the Legion? Caesar's Legion. A bunch of degenerate slavers led by a madman who calls himself Caesar. Every one of them is a barbarian to the last. I've even heard one of their leaders, the Legate or something, goes around with a human skull on his head. Savages to the last. And why is NCR interested in this desert? It's no secret. Our interest here is twofold. First, we want to remain in control of Hoover Dam. It supplies the Republic with power and is a source of fresh water. Second, we want to prevent the Legion from advancing across the Colorado River and endangering the home states. Okay. I have some free... Good enough Sir. for me. I don't think we need anything else from you. I mean, I, I suppose we could ask about the NCR. Uh, I don't think I want to. Just looking to see how many scrap electronics are around if we need to, you know, resort to theory. But we shouldn't. We should be fine. We'll be all right. We're not going to worry too much about it. Go ahead and just make our way over here where the game will crash. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> Funny thing is, like, I know this game has a lot of crashing issues. It's, it's an older game and it just, uh, I don't know. It's a Bethesda game. It crashes. Patrol in the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Not really, but that's one way to look at things. Okay, so there are a bunch of landmines. So if we're quick here, uh, apparently we don't have... Do we not have what we need to be able to disable them? There we go. They just didn't get close enough. That was the problem. Oh, goodness. I was going to say, if it's going to crash again, then maybe I'll just fire it up on the Steam Deck. Last time I played the game was actually on the Steam Deck, and it did not crash at all for me, which is kind of nice, you know? 
can't really argue with that if it's not going to crash, but it would look much worse because, you know, I was playing unmodded. Anyway, we have walked into Prim. Only got a very slight explosive issue. Not that big a deal. How you doing? I'm just going to go ahead and tuck around the corner here. How you doing? You like that? I mean, I wouldn't have tried to switch to a, a tire iron, but you do you. Oh, right in the face. I would feel bad about that, except I really don't. Think we're good? Okay. Go ahead and grab another varmint rifle. That'll eventually be able to get us to repair that thing. I don't even know what I grabbed there first off. My bad. Okay, let's grab that guy. I think that was the dynamite on the ground over there. It, this game's weird. Just roll with it. Okay, I see a body over here. Let's check this guy. Mojave Express delivery order four of six. Okay. Let's hop inside the Nash residence. And here we run into the reason why we might want to have some stuff. This is an advanced model robot with a reinforced frame. It is well weathered and appears to have seen a good bit of action. There is very little in the way of serious damage. If we try to fix it, we need 65 repair. That's not going to happen. But if we repair it with parts, we can repair it with three scrap metal, two sensor modules, and some scrap electronics. And science is going to be 55 or more, so we can't do anything with this guy right now. So eventually, we're going to have the sensor modules, the scrap metal, and the scrap electronics to be able to do something about that. And then we'll repair this guy and see what happens. Assuming I don't forget about it. For now, I think we want to go into the Vicky and Vance. And we just got to find the way in, which looks like it's right here. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. I'm a courier. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I lost a package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. If you have a delivery order, you can show me. Mm, how about this one? Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. I mean, that says a lot. Uh, what was strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. Hmm. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. <sighs> well, that's where you came in. He canceled? Yeah, got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave'd sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Do you know who he was? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Enough for me to say. So, some men stole the package. A man in a checkered suit and some thugs. Did they pass by here? Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Mm, one of them shot me. I need to know how to find him. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on him, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. 
Okay, let's talk about something else. Ah, yeah, so. oh, boy. Let's see, where do we want to go? What about your robot? That beat up old thing? What do you want to know? Mm, where'd it come from? A courier dropped it off a couple of months back. I got it working for a little while, but the darn thing pooped out. I haven't been able to get it up and running again. I was hoping to use it for some courier work, but that ain't gonna happen. What's wrong with it? Hell if I know. I don't think it's serious, but my tinkering days are long gone. Do you mind if I try to You're fix it? You're welcome to try. It's yours if you can get it working. If I had my way, I'd dump it in the scrapyard in Novak and be done with the damn thing. Novak, you say? All right. Don't go getting yourself shot. So that gives us a scrapyard to go to where we can probably find, you know, stuff to be able to repair it with. So that's handy. Let's talk Hello, to Prim please. Slim. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vans Casino and Museum. And you are? Prim Slim at your service. Authentic cowpoke and official spokespot of the Vicky and Vans Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! Where have you been, partner? Hiding under a rock? Vicky and Vance were this nation's fourth or maybe fifth most infamous celebrity outlaw couple ever. That's who they was. Prim Slim here can tell you the whole story, if you can spare a minute to hear the tale. Oh, sure, why not? Yahoo! I ain't had a chance to tell their tale in a mess of years. First things first, any boss you've heard about Vicky and Vance being copycats ain't nothing but ill-tempered slander. Fact is, they begun their crime spree two days before Bonnie and Clyde robbed their first bank. So who was copying who? Now true, Vicky and Vance didn't exactly cut a wide swath of murder and bank robbery across the central US like Bonnie and Clyde did. It was more like a narrow swath of shoplifting, check cashing fraud, and gas pump drive-offs. But crime is crime. They drove reckless too. Having lived by the gun, well, Vance owned one anyway, it was only fitting that the duo of desperados would die by the gun. Perhaps it was fate itself that accidentally drove them into a crossfire between police and a gang of bank robbers in Plano, Texas. Or maybe they just didn't notice until it was too late. It's been said that Vicky would have tried to cash a bad check in that bank had she lived. We'll never know for sure. All we know is that the crossfire tore the car and both occupants to pieces, and the police issued an official apology. You can put your eyes on the genuine death car just over yonder. And there's Vance's machine gun in the case next to it. <laughs> so good. Happy trails, partner. I mean, <laughs> it's so stupid, but it's great. Howdy. The 9mm submachine gun preserved in the glass case to the left of this plaque is the actual weapon Vance carried in a paper racked paper wrapped box under some suitcases in the trunk of his car during his and Vicky's crime spree. Never fired and luckily untouched by the hail of bullets that ended its notorious owner's life, the weapon's mint condition inspires dread in all who look upon it. Experts speculate that Vance might have killed as many as 50 people had he ever fired the gun, so long as his aim was exact and he was starting off with a full clip, or even more if he had additional ammo clips and remembered to reload. Like, the whole thing is just hilarious. Let's read about the car. Oh, the outfit. So the mannequins display replicas of some of the clothing found in the trunk of Vicky and Vance's death car. Vance didn't share Vicky's sense of fashion and chose to dress himself how he envisioned a gangster would dress. I mean, it, again, if you don't know where this is coming from, you have to go to Prim. I mean, it's not a... Is it actually Prim or is it something else? It's basically... It's at the border of California and Nevada as soon as you hop in. And there is a, or used to be, I don't know if there still is, but there used to be a casino that had Bonnie and Clyde's car, and I think it also had the gun. Hello there. What brings you to Prim? And thus we have Vicky and Vance. So who are you? I'm Ruby Nash. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Likewise. My husband and I are Prim long timers. He fancies himself a traitor, and I know my way around a kitchen. What do you cook? My specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. It's more appetizing than it sounds. I hope. The venom has a sharp, smoky flavor, and it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. It's perfectly safe, long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Cause that'll kill you dead. 
Well, okay. Um, let's ask her about Prim, since we didn't really ask anyone else. My mother taught me never to say something unless it was nice. So, I don't have nothing to say about Prim, for the time being at least. It's a sad state of affairs. Discuss it with Mr. Nash if you care to. Just makes me want to cry. All right. Yeah, bye. Uh, maybe we'll ask Nash or um, Prim Slim about Prim here. Let's let's ask a uh, hey, youngster. husband Still Nash. Uh, let's see. Let's ask about the delivery we were supposed to make. Sure. Uh, nope, we've already we've already asked those. So never mind. Um, what can I do to help Prim? There we go. Right now, Beagle is the closest Prim's got to any organized law, but he's still stuck up in Bison Steve. First thing I'd say is get his sorry butt out of there. Okay. A Beagle had some notes he was taking while he was eavesdropping around the Potter gangsters. He'll be your best source of information on that subject. Okay, so let's go save. Why do you keep calling them gangsters? Gangers, gangsters, all sounds like trouble to me. Yeah, I like the sound of gangsters better than gangers, Bye. too. So, I'm good with it. No problem. So, uh, we need to go save Deputy Beagle, and to save Deputy Beagle, that's going to help us in our quest to figure out who shot us in the face. That sort of thing. So, let's take a quick look here at what we have for inventory, because we are about to get massively overburdened. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Go ahead and put on this Desperado cowboy hat. We should probably throw on metal armor because that's just going to be more protective. Um, I'm going to say, like, I don't really care about a lot of this stuff that the game starts you with because of, you know, having um, all the mods. So we're going to dump those guys. And then let's go ahead and repair the pistol with that. I'm just trying to make sure we're in a spot where we're okay with our weaponry. Armament rifle will replace that and that. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there's any sort of quick change for weaponry. You have to go through the menu, which is just awful. I gotta look for a, a mod that'll add favorites or something so that things are a little, you know, better to to use. How you doing? Okay. I mean, if you're just gonna stand there, I'm okay with that. How you doing? Okay, we're just gonna back off a little bit here. This place sometimes gives me trouble, so I might I might end up trying to play it a little more cautiously than I often do. Okay, critical strike. Excellent, we'll take that. And is this guy still around the corner here, or was that him? I thought there was another dude around here. Guess not. All right, that's fine. I think so far we're kind of okay. I'm just going to go ahead and maybe go into stealth mode there. So we'll take the carton. Again, I'm not interested in carrying a lot of this stuff. Tales of a Junk Town Jerky Vendor. I forget. that had Actually, we can take the pre-war money too. Because that we can end up selling. But the Tales of the Junk Town Jerky Vendor, I think... If I remember right, that is a... An item that you can use to increase your bartering skill for a little while. And I get... Sometimes I get my games mixed up again. I think library books maybe is Fallout 4, so I don't think we need to worry about collecting library What's books. There? Oh. You just went full on seven days to die on me. And you just like randomly ducked out of nowhere. That's great. Appreciate you. Thanks for that. I kind of wonder, I just had a thought as I was coming out of that room, like, should I just be saving all the time? Because I'm not sure how much I trust this game to not crash on me. Mm, ooh, trooper helmet. That would be a good one. And we'll go ahead and take that here. Let's compare. So if we go to our apparel, that's going to give us more, more defense, but we'll lose one personality, and that's fine. I don't mind that. Yeah, I just, I had that thought, like, should I be saving all the time? I mean, I don't want to go into full-on, like, like, hardcore save-scumming mode, but... I mean, is that going outside? 
Lock door. Easy. So it's going to be like a utility closet, right? Hmm. Now this is going to get us around the other way. Okay, that's fine. I think this is an exit. This will take us outside, right? Still no. Okay. Wow. Apparently I don't remember this place. <laughs> it's funny because I have been through here somewhat recently-ish. I guess the second floor is uh, a separate thing. Okay. I think we made enough noise to get someone to come out and investigate. That's kind of my main thought right now. Oh no, he turned around. Okay, so maybe what we should do is just for the moment, we should switch to the varmint rifle so that we have something with long range. I mean, we also have the... I forget what it was called, like mercenary rifle or something. Yep, that'll work just fine. Okay, and we're going to run all the way back here down this hall at least. Oh yeah, we're gonna have problems here. Yeah, you are the leader, so let's go back to our shotgun. Guys, beefy. Okay. He's trying to take his arm off, actually. I mean, that works too, don't get me wrong. Yeah, he had a flamer, that's what he was carrying the incinerator. Uh, we'll take the leather armor and the helmet because I think we can use a couple of those to repair things. So we'll repair that guy and then the leather armor, I think maybe we'll be able to repair or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll carry that for the moment though. But look at that incinerator, man. Big old flamethrower. That's what that is. Oh, wow. We've got a lot of 9mm pistols, so... Yeah, we'll do it that way. I know, I tend to do things in that order, and I couldn't tell you why. It's probably the wrong way to do it. But that way, it kind of makes sure I get rid of things, because you don't really need all these stupid things. Like, you really don't. I'm guessing that was everyone in the room. I'm not sure. Nope. Definitely not. Let's go back to our armament rifle, because that's going to give us the best range. Nope. I mean, if you're just going to stand there, then I will take advantage of that. Like, I got no problem with that. Not a problem. So this is where Deputy Beagle is, and he is being held by some friends here. So we'll get rid of that guy. I mean, I figure if nothing else, it's not a bad idea to just bust out the rifle when you're trying to get the range, because you know... It's a weapon that's literally designed for range, right? Get some casings for some 556 ammo. We'll be able to turn that into something later on. Let's go talk to the bee dog. Can we get any of these things for free? Excellent. There we go. And we are basically at what we can carry just like that. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. You must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. I hear you may have some information on cons that came through with a guy in a checkered suit. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. Hmm, fine. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. If you try to run away instead of fighting at my side, I'll kill you myself. <laughs> um, sure, run away. You don't look like you'd be much help. Then I'll defer to your superior appraisal of character and prowess in contests of arms and see you outside. I love that. He's a coward and he knows it. Love it. Um, we should take the purified water, just because that's good stuff. 
And that basically puts us at the limit of what we can carry. Because we're going to grab those guys and those guys, and we are now well over what we can carry. But I think we'll be able to do a small amount of repairing here. So here, we'll start from the top. There you go. That gets us back into a decent spot. I don't know that we really need the cleaver. I think maybe we'll dump that. I don't think I even meant to grab that. Call that good enough. That gives us a little bit of room to play with. Not a lot, but a little bit. So that was the main thing we came here to do, is we needed to free Beagle. And then, I forget, let's go... I think if we go upstairs, that gets us on the roller coaster. So let's go outside for right now. I don't I don't feel like messing with the roller coaster. We don't need to do that. All right, so there goes Beagle, meandering his way across town. He is holding a gun. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? We? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prem. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Oh, good grief. Um, so, what can you tell us about the checkered suit dude? Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was skull, uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Well, there's Novak again. Hello again. I don't suppose you've decided to help Prim find its next sheriff? I can tell you it won't be you. It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. We're going to bring Law and Order back to Prim. Well, that's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. I think we'll skip the uh, NCR. I'm not huge, huge fans of them. I mean, you know, they're doing some important stuff, more or less. But I kind of like the sound of uh, maybe spring in a sheriff out of prison and instead asking them to be the deputy wow i forget how big this map is it's, it's uh, you know it's not huge but if you look at where we've been so far we've not covered much of it at all and there's all this stuff off to the west that we could go hit so we've got an outpost to the southwest to drive in nipton that's where the uh, guy was moving. He went through, no, going through Nipton to Novak. Got a scrapyard over there, an abandoned bunk, uh, Brotherhood of Steel bunker. And where is the, where is the prison? Where's the NCRCF? There it is, it's just to the Northwest. I think that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna head there for the next one. I might see if I can uh, free up some inventory somehow, because I feel like we don't have a lot of space. I mean, we do have some. We could sell some uh, dynamite here, but we also might want to just start chucking it once we get into the other place. 12, 12 weight for the incinerator would be fine. I don't think we'll use that. So for right now, we're going to call this one good. We will try to find someone we can sell this crap to. I forget if, if Johnson, uh, one of them, will buy stuff, but I think someone in here will buy stuff and help to clear out some weight for us. And if not, well, then I'll just find somewhere to, to stick these things for the time being. And we will pick up on the next one as we try to help out Prim and get them a proper sheriff. Catch you that one, Tolan. Thanks for watching. See you later.